Fire! Welcome! We've got a nice little haul of three Funko Pops to show you today from EMP. Now, the reason I decided to get a few from EMP, one does fit the collection. I did need it once I decided I was collecting this particular range within a range. And the other two, I've been dipping in and out quite a lot quite recently with that line. And um, these were two that just happened to be at EMP. And I thought, yeah, they'd be great additions to a certain collection of mine. But um, the main reason that I ordered them was that EMP sent me a £10 off voucher via email, just saying, oh, we've not seen your shop here for a long time. Here's £10 off if you spent over 35 Well, three Funko Pops is going to cost around £39-ish, give or take, from EMP. £10 off, £29 for three. Free postage as I'm a Backstage Club member. Can't be bad. I think that's pretty good value for three Funko Pops here. So let's get this open. And of course, what I need when I get a box open is this beautiful mofo right here. The trusty yellow knife. You're the voice, try and understand it. Make a noise and make it clear. Whoa, whoa, we're not gonna live in silence. We're not gonna live in fear. Whoa, whoa. All right, and now let us have a whistle. Woo! So two of these are in essentially the same line, and one of them is in a big line of mine, a big collection. All sort of impulsive to a fashion, because I could have found the one of these that I really wanted probably elsewhere, and then the other two were just to sort of make the order up. One thing I don't like about these EMP deals is that they never include things like vinyl records or CDs or Blu-ray, anything like that. It always says, oh, like, you can get such and such off everything, and then everything's got an asterisk next to it. And then you look to where the asterisk is in the small print, and it says, excludes media. Funko Pops aren't usually excluded from any sort of offers and vouchers and stuff. Right, which one shall we go with first? Yeah, let's do this one first. It's come in a little bubble wrap baggie. One that's adhesive at the top, they're pretty cool. Well, not cool, but they're handy anyway. If I don't rip it too much, I should be able to reuse it at some stage as well. Right, so the first pop to show you today in this little EMP haul is another one for my McDonald's collection. This is number 110 in Ad Icons. It's Birdie the Early Bird. Oh yeah. Uh, part of the second wave of common McDonald's pops here. Yeah, what can you say about her? She's a little, what she's supposed to be, like a little canary maybe? I wouldn't have thought she was a little chicken. I'm assuming what were the being called the early bird, and I've not looked up any kind of advertisements or anything for this lass, this bird, here. But I'm assuming she's some sort of like breakfast mascot, given that she's called the early bird. But yeah, another McDonald's one to add to my collection. I'm not going to get all these open, as I've got two others to show you today. But we will have a little look on the back. Uh, by the way, the box condition, as I would expect from EMP, it's fantastic. So thank you, EMP. But um, I don't think I've got any of these apart from Birdie now. As Rock Out Ronald McDonald, I don't want him as I've got the original Ronald who's up there somewhere. And then there's all these McNuggets here. Cowboy, Fireman, Rockstar and Tennis. But as you know from a recent unboxing, I got the Target exclusive Scuba McNugget. And although the other McNuggets are kind of all different, I think I only want one. I can always change my mind and try and get the rest of the McNugget characters at some point, but I don't think I will. I mean, it just takes up more space, doesn't it? A bit like with the Otter Pops. I've been looking at getting the other ones in the Otter Pops line because I've got Alexander the Grape from Pop Figures not too long ago. And they're all kind of different, certainly colour-wise and even design-wise, but it's like, do I really want the whole lot when space is at a premium? But there we are. Another McDonald's one. A very nice common there. Birdie the Early Bird. But I'm probably a little more excited by these two here. Even though it was really Birdie who was the one I was mainly looking for and then I was just getting my order up to over 35 to get that £10 discount. And I came across this one. It fits a line 
that I've been getting quite a few in recently and I'm really enjoying. I looked at the glam shots and the photos and everything I thought that's a lovely pop that I really want that. And it's number 209 in the Pop Rocks line. This is Aaliyah. So um, I've broken my rules a little bit here as I've bought Aaliyah and I haven't actually got any Aaliyah music in my collection unless you count something that I recorded off an old mini disc I had onto tape a few years ago. That was a brilliant single, Try Again, by the way. Looks a little bit of a mark on the front of the box here. I don't know if it's sort of dust or something. No, it doesn't matter, it's fine. So I looked on Discogs recently, once I'd ordered this, and um, all their stuff on vinyl is like really expensive, and there's been not much that's been reissued in recent years. And even what has been reissued is still, you know, triple figures, pretty much a lot of it. It was really expensive. But I do like the artist. I mean, I'm not familiar with a lot of her music. And sadly, she passed away and it would have been, I think, 2001 in a plane crash in the Caribbean somewhere, I think. She was really sort of on the verge of exploding and becoming like a massive star. I mean, she could have been sort of... Beyonce before Beyonce really had uh, she not been taken from us at such a young age it's only about I think 22 23 when she died but I um, thought this was a really nice pop when I was looking at it and certainly one that will fit nicely in my pop rocks collection pity I've not got a record really that I can show you an Aaliyah record and I'm not interested in collecting her on CD maybe cassettes as I do like to pick up unusual cassettes as and when I can find them so I'll have another look Maybe see if I can pick something up relating to Aaliyah at a later date. But really, really lovely pop that for an R&B singer who um, it's been 20 years now since she died. She was really on the cusp of being a megastar, I think, at that point. Less said about her marriage when she was very young to R. Kelly, the better, really. But um, we don't want to end this on a sour note. So Aaliyah there could be my favourite pick of uh, the three here actually, even though this was very impulsive at the time. But the last one I've got to show you is pretty cool. This is one that is a popular artist, a popular guy, someone I've not seen anyone particularly unbox on YouTube, not in recent memory anyway. Another one for the Pop Rocks collection, this is number 111, Post Malone. So. Post Malone certainly qualifies for my collection now because if you hark back to a month or so back, maybe a little more, I don't know, I'm losing track of time, it's the Covid era, isn't it? I have actually got Post Malone records in my collection, in those little three inch records that I showcased after I got the Crosley Record Store Day mini turntable. There we are, I've put it in the proper run in there. I didn't last time, I just stuck it down anyway. Yeah, so uh, this is the Crosley Record Store Day mini turntable. Just really kind of collector's pieces more than anything. They're not really proper high fidelity audio formats, but nice little sort of talking point, really. The little record player and all the tiny three inch discs. So yeah, I've got Post Malone in my collection. So when I saw him on EMP, and I'd not really seen him anywhere else for quite some time, I was wondering if he'd become vaulted. Don't think he has, I just think he's around and no one's really giving a shit. But um, I thought, yeah, I'll get Post Malone. I'll add him to my Pop Rocks collection. I enjoyed his records that I'd got, these little three-inch singles of his, generally. He's not an artist I would be massively into, generally. I don't want to start collecting all his albums, etc, etc. Although, if I came across one and it was like a really good price, I'd possibly have a punt on it. So, of course, we can see him there with his uh, face tattoos, which are kind of weird. He'll have his reasons for wanting those, but that's uh, quite a unique look to a Funko Pop there one with face tattoos back of the box is quite minimal but nice it's got this barbed wire motif uh, what's it say on the back beer bongs and bentley's i think that's the name of post malone's first album first or second i think posty co uh, i'm not sure what that is probably the name of his publishing or production company or something i don't know any post malone fans out there who want to fill me in on the guy himself I'm a fair weather fan at best, admittedly, but I do have Post Malone music in my collection thanks to the Crosley Record Store Day turntable and then the subsequent records for that that I bought on Discogs. So there we are. Three very nice pops here. Post Malone, really cool and unique. I think probably my favourite of the three as I kind of fell in love with her 
when I saw her and I thought, yeah, that's really nice. I've got to get Aaliyah there in the Pop Rocks range. And the one that I wanted really is it's filling a hole in the McDonald's collection, Birdie the Early Bird. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Funko Pop unboxing. Three lovely Funko Pops from EMP and with £10 off, makes it all the more sweeter. Special thanks go, as always, to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons. Please see my referral links for Funko products down in the description text box. And of course, there is also my Patreon link where you can help support this channel from just starting at $1 per month or £1, depending on where you are in the world, one euro. And there's also my Facebook group link as well. That's always free and it's a great place to meet like-minded collectors and just chat, make friends and share your collections, your unboxings and much as I hate the term, mail calls or post as normal British people call it. Isn't that right? Mail call Malone. Oh, that was an awful joke, I'm sorry. Ah, Pop-Tart, slag me off in the comments, I deserve it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now and put these three pops into protectors and find appropriate places to display them. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing. Cheers, everyone. See ya!